So we're going to take a quick look at My District Builder just to get a sense of what you'll be looking at when you first open the application. Starting out at floridaredistricting.org, we're going to click on the My District Builder banner, and as you'll see, the site is initializing. What's happening is the site is loading all of the census data, the census geometry. This can take a minute or two, especially if this is your first time visiting the site, so don't be surprised if this takes a little time. As you can see, it's almost done. If for any reason this takes longer than, let's say, a couple minutes, definitely close any internet browser you have open and maybe even any applications that are using a lot of memory and just relaunch My District Builder. But as we can see, the application is loaded. The first thing you get is this quick 1-2-3 guide, which you can use if you just want to start a new plan, start building, and save that plan. And you can always get back to that under the Help menu along with other information. The file and other menus up here at the top of My District Builder probably similar to any other application you've utilized. There's a new, save, open. Here below those, you've got the different layers of geography. This is how you'll change your view of different layers of geography. And they load, this tells you that they're loading right here. And going over to the right, we see different data sets that we can look at when we want to analyze where we want to build or where we have built in terms of population numbers, in terms of shaded themes. And on the bottom of the screen, we have the data grid, which will fill in as you begin to actually build districts. And so that's a quick tour of My District Builder. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at mydistrictbuilder at myfloridahouse.gov.